Assalamu alaikum friends how are you i hope you're all fine can you guess what i'm drawing i'm drawing a king cobra so i'm starting off with the head and i'm just making the basic shape or the structure of the king cobra so don't forget to put a tiny little light pressure on the pencil because if you put a hard pressure on the pencil it won't look like sketching it will look like a baby drawing and you couldn't erase it so as you can see i'm raising it a thousand times so now i'm making the eyes and giving details to the cobra's face So now I'm making scales, scales, more scales, more scales and more scales and even more scales. Scales, scales, scales. So the scales around the eyes are different from the scales around the body as they give a particular angry expression to the cobra's face because my cobra is hissing angrily at you so these scales took me more time than the others because the others were just semicircles but these are different shapes and sizes So now I'm making the hissing mouth which is hissing at you. So this is the inner part of the mouth. Scary, isn't it? It should be. So these are the two teeth that are going to bite everyone with venom. So I love using 6B because somehow I feel like I can control its darkness and its shading and it blends amazingly. And it doesn't give that type of shine that 8B and 10B do. That's why we don't like them. So now's the time for making a hundred billion scales. So you just need to make semicircles. Lots and lots of semicircles. So if you want to shade the cobra, you can let it be like this. But I want to use my markers. My effort of the scales were not wasted because if I didn't make the scales, it would be just plain black. But because of the scales, it has a three-dimensional or 3D texture. So I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, I order you to press the like button. Keep watching for more. I love it.